Hello everyone, welcome back. Two weeks ago, maybe more so, maybe about a month ago, one of you asked me to do quantum mechanics, a video on quantum mechanics. Uh, that's really interesting. That's a very good topic. So yes, we will do that. I've decided I'll do it in two parts. That's two videos, one this week, one next week. The first video, this one, is going to be the key experiment of quantum mechanics and explain to you what happened in that experiment. And the second one is going to be interesting effects and awesome stuff that happens because of quantum mechanics, what it predicts and what does actually occur. So enjoy this. It's, if you haven't heard of it already, it's quite mind-blowing. So, enjoy. I said I was going to talk about the one key main experiment of quantum mechanics, but in my mind there are really two. There's the double slit experiment, which we're going to talk about, and there's also the photoelectric effect. But we're not going to talk about the photoelectric effect, because the photoelectric effect is boring. Okay, we've got that out of the way. You can look, up, you can look it up if you want. It's not interesting. So, the first one, the double slit experiment. How is it laid out? What does it do? What's going on? Who am I? Okay, so, it's laid out in three parts. You've got the accelerator, then you've got a wall with two thin slits in it, a certain distance apart. So, accelerator, and you fire objects at this wall with two thin slits in it. And then after that, you have a detector, and you see where those objects end up after they're fired at the wall with the two thin slits. So, let's sort of do this on a large scale first before we go small and quantum. So imagine you had a gun that randomly fired darts at this wall in sort of random directions, nice even spread across the wall. Obviously most of the darts are going to hit the wall, but some of them are going to go through these two small slits. And when they do, what arrangement are they going to be on, say you have a chalkboard, not a chalkboard, a corkboard, on the end. Say you have a corkboard. So you might expect that it might look something like this. So you have no darts, no darts, no darts, lots of darts, lots of darts, no darts, lots of darts, lots of darts, no darts at all each one corresponding to a slit. That's fine. Intuitive, right? I know. So, what happens when you fire something of a different nature? Like waves. So if you have that two slit, you have that wall in a pool of water, and you have a detector at the back, and it picks up how high waves get once they pass through the two slits. So you have a little thing, dabbling thing, making, a, making some waves come out, it gets to the two slits, and then each propagates from the two slits, interferes with itself, and comes out on the detector. This is the shape of interference that you might expect. This is what happens when waves go through the two slits. You get this intensity pattern. For the mathematicians among you, it's a sine squared x over x squared. It's a sinc squared function. Just a bit of an aside for mathematicians that want to look it up. This is for waves. This is for particles. Understood? Right. So let's go really, really small, sort of quantum level. So what's the equivalent of the wave that we have at this level? Well, we've got light. Light is an electromagnetic wave that's sort of small enough so that its effects are prominent at this scale, this really, really small scale. So what we do is we set up a light, the two slits, and the detector, and we fire it at the two slits. We fire light at the two slits and see what we end up with. Well, unsurprisingly, we end up with this the wave interference pattern. So that's good. At least that works, right? Yeah, we'll see. So the next thing we do is we take particles. Now, scientists thought, what's a good particle that we can accelerate well, detect well, it's quite light? Electrons. So what they did is they took an electron gun in the same way that we had the dart gun before and fired it at the wall. What do you think they detected? Well, I wouldn't be making this video if it wasn't something interesting. This is what they detected. They fired small objects, small particles, and they detected what you should detect for a wave. Hmm. Kind of odd. So scientists thought, okay, so maybe there's something else going on here. Maybe they're bouncing off each other. So what they did is they fired them one by one, and they see what happens. So they fired particle, 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 in a random direction. Did it work? No. Here's what they found. They found waves. This is really, really weird. I hope you're seeing how weird this is already. Particles firing one by one, and slowly they went through the slits, and they slowly made the picture of the wave one by one. This is already odd, but there's another twist in the tale. Scientists thought, okay, right, so let's just, let's just see which one they're going through, which slit they're going through, whether they're going through the left or the right slit. So what they did is they set up detectors to detect which slit the electrons went through. Which pattern emerged? when they measured which hole each electron went through. Welcome to quantum mechanics.